Hey guys, how's it going? It's Spider-Man here with another late video to the channel. I know I haven't been posting uh, recently because uh, of my current job and stuff like that, but you know I have been thinking about this channel a lot lately, and I, like I said again, I'm sorry I haven't been posting. I have been buying a lot of merchandise and a lot of pops and comic books lately, and I figured I'd like to show you a quick little update to my, uh, my current collection to my Funko Pops. Uh, I've been buying a little bit of exclusives here lately and stuff like that, but uh, with that being said, uh, thank you f uh, for joining me in today's uh, video. Um, I hope you guys are still active and still interested in the videos that I'm doing because I, I have a lot of ideas, but like I said, I've been very uh, backtracked with my schedule and my job and everything. But like I said, I have been buying more um, merchandise of Funko Pops and comic books like I've said and I'd like to show you guys my current uh, collection and how it's progressing into what I want with my uh, Spider-Man Funko Pops. Uh, if you do like the video please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you like to share it with your friends please go ahead and do so and if you're new to the channel please subscribe uh, as I will be posting a lot more with the current Funko Pops that I've been buying. Uh, but with that being said uh, let's get started. So one of the first pops that I've gotten throughout this whole, um, you know, of me not posting, I got the El Arachno or the Arachnid. It's supposed to be a mashup between the uh, the Lucha Libre edition or the, the Mexican uh, wrestling style, and they mash it up into the the Marvel heroes. I know there's a quite more. There's a Wolverine, a Venom, an Iron Man, and I think a Captain Marvel and a Captain America. But this one's a nice one. I like it. Uh, since I'm a wrestling fan, this goes great with uh, with Marvel and you know Spider-Man and stuff like that. So this one's a little little nice piece to have for the collection. And uh, I do have the um, the Marvel for exclusive, which is just the metallic one. Uh, they're nice. I like this one. It reminds me a lot of uh, of Nacho Libre or El, uh, El Blue Demon, but or blue demon but I like these two they're nice it's a little nice collection to have little piece and then obviously the marble cord so I have both of them the regular and the exclusive but yeah these are two of the uh, current funk pops that I have gotten uh, let's get over to the next ones so some of the current ones that I have gotten are involving the uh, the Spider-Man Miles Morales game, the PS4 and PS5 game. Mind you, I still haven't played the game. I have it in a PS5 format, but I haven't been able to pick up a PS5 lately, so, you know, fuck me, right? Um, but yeah, I've gotten the Spider-Man Miles Morales, the advanced tech suit. Uh, these are just a couple of ones that I've gotten. I'm still missing quite a few. Um, this one's nice. It has a little metallic sheen to it, or I think it's just the plastic that's covering it, but... Yeah, I like this one. It's alright. I mean, like I said, I haven't played the game, so I haven't really experienced these these suits. And the next ones that we have is the Miles Morales uh, Programmable Matter Suit. I also have the Glow in the Dark um, exclusive. They're alright. I mean, I think this one dropped a little bit in uh, in price. I will be putting the prices on the, uh, on the side here of the video, but as you can see, um, I'll probably take a picture of this one with its glow uh, if I have the chance, but these are alright. I like them. They're cool. They're little nice pieces to have for the collection, I guess. Um, another one that I have is the Winter Suit, the Miles Morales, and I think there's a, a normal one. Yeah, there's the normal one and then the Hot Topic exclusive, and it's just him upside down, so, you know, it's whatever. They're cool. They're little nice pieces, like I said, and I think for the Miles Morales, they came up with a bunch of them, uh, a normal and exclusive one. Um, yeah, these were kind of bullshit in my opinion. They just started popping up more and more with the suits. Um, there was a lot more for the Miles Morales suits than for the other PS4 Spider-Man game. Um, but yeah, I have the Strike suit right here, which is okay, I guess, but you know the thing that I don't like is how very close together the the art or the design is right here but you know it's whatever I like the the red and yellow with it and uh, I also like this one the, the 2020 suit it's pretty cool I guess um, mind you like I've said throughout these I haven't played 
the game so I haven't been able to be uh, or play as these suits and the only ones that I'm missing would be the the track suit and the one that looks like the prowler I'll try to put pictures of them up on the screen right here that way you can see uh, my thoughts on those they're all right I mean like I said the other ones the the Lucha Libre spider-man ones are pretty cool to have um, it's just for the spider-man collection but I was really excited for the next one that I'm about to show you in a couple of seconds because um, that one is just really great it's a it's it's a good uh, piece to have for for um, for your spider-man collection and I know the the other exclusive has been going up in price but this one is still uh, not valid um, so with that being said I'll go go ahead and show you the uh, the other one so of course, the next one that I'm talking about is the Spider-Man 2099, the 2021 Spring Convention, or there's the other one, the Emerald City Collection, or uh, exclusive. Um, I know this one still doesn't have its value up on the Funko app. Uh, I think the other one does, the Emerald City. I'm not so sure, but uh, I really like this one, and it's uh, really different from the other uh, Spider-Man. 2099 the Walgreens exclusive they're a bit different in terms of pose and their shape and stuff like that as you can see this one's a bit fatter or thicker and this one is a lot more slimmer and more true to the comic I guess and this one's mostly like from the show uh, I'm not too sure I might be full of shit but you know whatever they still look really nice but I have to give it to this one this one's still pretty cool uh, this one like I said and in, in, a previous video that I've had it took me such a long time to get but this one was relatively easy to get from one of my buddies uh, shout out to him if you know what I'm talking about um, yeah this one I was really excited for this one when it, they first announced it back I think in December or January somewhere around that time or I might be wrong but I was still really excited because I know those two will hold up and I think I'm still trying to get the other one the Emerald City sticker one but I'm still not sure because that one is still it's going up in price so um yeah i was pretty excited for these like i've said they're nice pieces to have i was more excited for the 2099 than for the other ones i was just able to pick them up in a local store around the area but um yeah my collection has been growing and growing as the times go by and i'm still missing quite a few spider-mans i'm still missing uh, the spider ham and the spider hulk and uh quite more um but i should be able to pick them up within the Time. Those are some pops that I've uh, bought throughout this uh, this not me posting face or whatever. Uh, but I will be getting more uh, pops as the time goes by, Spider-Man pops. And uh, if I am able to pick up some comics, I, I'll definitely show them to you guys. But yeah, like I said, uh, if you liked the video, please uh, give it a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and share it to your friends. That way this channel keeps on growing. Uh, again, I apologize I haven't been posting lately. I've just been very busy with my current job. Uh, I have a job and, and uh, YouTube, so it's a little bit hard to maintain the schedule. But like I've said, I'm still very grateful for all my fans and for the people that still stick by me and watch my videos. And my channel is growing. I've been getting messages from people from other states. And that's still pretty amazing that people from other states are watching my videos and uh, giving me suggestions and uh, you know saying that they like my collection and my videos and I really appreciate that. Uh, hopefully this channel grows to something that I've always envisioned. So like I said, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please, please make sure to subscribe, uh, turn on the notification bell whenever I post a new video and I hope to see you guys on the next video. Peace.